Hey guys, it's Marissa. Happy Friday, everybody. Looks like we're good and live on YouTube. Let's make sure Facebook's here in the party. Looks like Facebook has joined the party too. Hey, this gets easier every time I do it. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's see if I can find me on another device here. Say hello when you get in. Make some likes or comments or something. Oh, good. Here we go. Oh, YouTube and your ads. All right. I think I'm good. Hey, Mimi, I'm glad you're here. Hey, Dawn, thank you for sharing. <laughs> there we go. Good afternoon from California. V, is that how you pronounce your name? Hey, Carol, I'm glad you're here. All right, everything's looking pretty good on YouTube. How about Facebook? How are you guys doing this morning? Happy Friday, everybody. Hey, Jessica. All right, look, we got everybody here. Oh, fantastic. All right, so everybody got big plans for this weekend? Today's Desi's birthday, my oldest but she's standing up in a wedding, so she's got no time for me. <laughs> We're hopefully gonna have some cake for her on Sunday. I'm gonna do my um, live. I have this blog post all ready to go for our project today. I love our project today, you guys. Hey, Jackie. I'm hoping to do a little stamp in this afternoon. I need to make a thank you card. Deepa says, happy birthday, Desi. Thank you, Deepa. I'll tell her. She just ran off to go get her nails done for the wedding tomorrow and to drop off her dress at the seamstress. They gave it back to her. I haven't, but not steamed. I said, who does that? I don't know. Maybe things have changed since the last time I needed um, professional services like that, but they gave it to her with, without steaming it or pressing it. It's a beautiful hem, though. They did a good job. Tony shared. Thank you, my friend. I see you on YouTube today. That's cool. Hi, Carol. Carol says happy birthday to Desi. Thank you. All right. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Anybody got any stampin'? I did get my pre-order um, order yesterday, Wednesday. I don't remember. But I'd like to do a little stampin' this, this afternoon. All right. Happy Friday, you guys. Looks like everybody's hearing me all right. Picture looks pretty good. I see some hearts and thumbs up. Thank you. Patricia says I spelled your name wrong and shared. That's all right. You shared. That's what's important. Thank you. Looking good. All right. I'm getting better at this um, new software, and it's pretty exciting. Oh, see, you can teach an old dog new tricks after all. <laughs> And Jackie says, hello, friends. I love that. I love that you guys greet each other. Hey, Marla, happy Friday to you, too. Patricia says, I'm still working on Christmas cards. That's a funny thing. My um, aunt here is helping me get my Christmas cards out, too. So we're still trying to wrap that up. I couldn't do it without her help. <laughs> Nancy says, happiest birthdays to Desi, your beautiful girl. Thank you. All right, let's see here. We've got both platforms working really good. I think all my devices are working good. Mimi says, got to make sympathy and feel better soon. Oh, dear. Those aren't fun ones to make. Uh, um, I'm sorry if you've got um, friends that are struggling, Mimi, or family that's struggling. Those are the hard ones to make. Mm -mm -mm. We're going to make a really cute treat today. Let me show you this. I have two of them because I didn't want to keep opening and closing my ribbon. So let's, uh, we're going to get back to this because if you guys joined me yesterday, you've already heard the housekeeping, but I put together a starter kit for myself, just, you know, like mocked it up with some of the things that I love from the last chance list that I plan on ending the year strong with great ideas, things that I'm still using and so glad that I got, but Precious pine cones. we're going to use that one today, and it's 60% off right now. Um, sending Cheer, I've used a ton. There's a card class in our PDF store. There's several um, 
projects that have been blogged or sent out in the newsletter with this one, these are 40% off, both the stamps and the dies. This year to celebrate, this is actually Jackie's, she gave it to me to play with because I told her I'm fighting the urge to order it for 40% off because it's so, this is bright, happy, fast birthday cards and New Year greetings. 40% off and then warmest heart. I've got so many ideas for this one. Want to get some um, fun treats for the blog it, that um, between Christmas and New Year's or you know leading up to Christmas when you need a little stress relief, right? You want to stamp some some fun little projects. This is going to be a great bundle and both the stamps and the dies are 40% off. So I put together myself a starter kit using some stuff from the last chance list and came up with a retail value, a regular price retail value of $185 for $99, no shipping. So it's really a great time if you're um, still looking at things in the holiday catalog that you, um, the last chance list has kind of got your attention. Think about a starter kit instead of um, just placing an order. You can get $99 for $125 of product, but because of the sale prices that are going on in the last chance list, the clearance rack, you can get um, a really great value right now. You can also order any of the new mini catalog items in your starter kit. So this catalog opens up to you right away and celebration starts for you right after you buy your starter kit. You can start earning um, free gifts with your 50 and $100 increments. And the nice part is, is the retail counts towards your celebration, but you get your 20% off every order after you buy the starter kit too. So it's a really great time to join. And if you have any questions about joining, reach out. We'd love to talk to you. Join the kitchenettes. We're very awesome. That's what we like to say. All right. So I've got this fun little treat packet for you. And I was just going to tell you, I've got one that's all closed up and then one that's open. So I don't have to keep tying and untying it to show you, but look at this. Isn't this the cutest thing? So it just wraps ties together with ribbon and then when you open it up it's got this cute little cherry tart and a tea bag so it's tea and a tart and just a really cool gift um this is let me show you these i've got them right behind me i got them at my italian store hang on let me reach back and get it So they come like this in my Italian store. Um, I got it at Caputo's if you're local. If you've got a European market, you might be able to find these, but I did find them on Amazon too. I was kind of surprised because they're European, but they're there on Amazon. And this I got at my Meyer. It's just a Twinnings chai. I've got a decaf one, but I also did just for convenience in case you want a one-stop shop. I found a really cool chai um, variety pack. It has all the different chai and flavors plus honey sticks and stuff. So I did get those Amazon links for you, but if you've got a European store, they probably have this. If you make this and you find that something else fits really cute in the treat part of the tea and, and tart holder, we want to know. Okay. So if you try this and something else fits, share with us. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to just pop over on Facebook. You guys are quiet today. Either that or my comments are lagging. Somebody say some things so I can know if my... <laughs> oh, World Market, if you all have one. Very good suggestion. We do. We don't have one that's really close to us anymore, though. The one that was right kind of in our neighborhood is closed. What a great suggestion. Good comment, Mimi. Thank you. Um, let's go ahead and get started with our treat package. Isn't that just, just so cute, you guys? Oh, anyway, we're going to take um, cardstock. You need two pieces for this template. You need a pocket that's one and a half by three and a wrapper that's three by nine and a quarter. And I'm using early espresso for mine. All right, let me grab my Simply Score tool and we'll score this one up. So nobody's got any big plans for the weekend? Carol says, so cute. Thank you. And Dawn says, adorable treat package. Isn't it? it? And then the pretty, or the precious pine cones. I just love this set. Let me show you guys what I did with it too. I've got the Modern Garden. That's where my flowers came from. And this one is retiring. 
and it's the one that gets bundled with the modern oval punch. Now, if you've seen the celebration, then you know that there's a really cute $50 um, gift stamp set uh, that coordinates with that modern oval punch. I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen, but with all the, um, even mine, I showed my pre-order, and so you might have seen the set here on this channel, but there's a watermelon set that um, coordinates with the modern oval punch. So if you want the modern oval punch and you like the modern garden stamp set, you can grab them in a bundle and save 10% on both, um, or you can order just the punch but the stamps are not carrying over. These are retiring, okay? So we're combining the modern garden with the precious pine cones for just a really beautiful uh, holiday. What would you say, like a floral arrangement? I just love it. All right, let's go ahead and score up the base for our treat here. And we're going to, let's see if I can do this. Only problem with this new software is I have to run everything by the mouse and then the mouse is always in the picture. Sorry, guys. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna score along the nine and a quarter inch side at three quarters, one and an eighth. Uh, let's see here, four and a quarter, five, and then at eight and one eighth, and eight and a half. And that is our treat wrapper. Now, if you find a different treat and it's a little bit wider, you can always get a little bit longer strip of paper and adjust the measurements a little bit. And if you do that, we wanna know too. We love to know what fits inside the treat packages and if you alter them a little bit, I know Tony's really good at that. Tony's really good at just sizing things up or down to fit another treat. Um, we want to know about that too. So share in the craft social. The Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social is our Facebook group. It's facebook.com slash groups slash Kitchen Table Stamper Craft Social. We have weekly challenges, prizes. We have a wonderful community. Lots of very talented crafters that just share um, out of their creativity, out of... Um, I don't know, just the, the generosity of their creative spirit it really is a great place. There's a link in the description. Um, come and join us there. We'd love to craft with you. All right, so when you do this, you want to make your um, end tabs. And you'll go on the last two score lines. On the second one, you want to fold in. On the first one, you want to fold out. So what you have is this, you see? So this right here is three quarters of an inch. And then this side here plus this side here is three quarters of an inch. So if you wanted to put something a little bit wider in there, you could make this wider and then whatever this is divide into two and that's how much distance you'll have between your first score and your second score. And that's how much distance you'll have between your last score and second to last score. Does that make sense? <laughs> if not, don't worry. Just give it a try and see what you can find that fits in three quarters of an inch thick, okay? Does that make sense to everybody? <laughs> hey, Patty, good afternoon. Uh, Tony says, yes, I love your boxes and do alter sizes if needed. I know you do. And sometimes you come back and share with us and inspire us and we love it. Uh, let's see here. I need a ruler next. And I've got a little chalk marker here, the retired Stampin' Up! one, just because I'm working on a dark surface. Hey, thank you. Um, we want to go on one end and go five eighths of an inch from each edge. And that's where we're going to punch the hole for our ribbon. And so what I like to do is I like to line up my ruler with the edge of the ruler at the edge of the template and the um, you know the measuring edge of the ruler along that first score and then what I do is I just kind of visually choose halfway between the score and the end of the cardstock and we're gonna mark at five-eighths of an inch and then I slide my ruler so that I've got five-eighths of an inch on the edge on the right edge of the treat this is the five-eighths of an inch right there 
and then the ruler is still on the fold, the first score line, and I'm going to mark about halfway up. Make sure it's pretty level with the other mark. This one I eyeball just a little bit and it works out all right. So 5 eighths of an inch in from each side. And then, so to avoid measuring twice, what I do next is bring this together and square up the two ends. So you wanna kinda maybe even tap that. Once you've got it all lined up, then we'll take a 1 8 inch hole punch. Got my handy dandy little fiskers here. These are a little bit lower than halfway, but I'm gonna just roll with that. Make sure that they're both a little bit lower than halfway. And there. Now we have um, holes that look like they're um, purposefully placed. I have to do a little measuring. Some people can just get it in there and click, click, and they look like they're about the same distance in from the edge and about the same distance up from the uh, fold, but you guys know my eyes aren't on <laughs> on center, so I have to do a little bit of measuring, and that's how I do it. Just on the one side, hold them together, then they match up on both sides of the treat, and that 5 eighths of an inch in from the edge really does give me a pretty good looking set of holes for my ribbon. <laughs> Tony says, my hub hubby loved his birthday box today with his Ghirardelli th in this morning. Desi's birthday twin, only much older. Oh, that's so funny. Happy birthday, Les. I didn't know that you guys were birthday twins. That's exciting. All right. Um, and Nancy says, you have great ideas to start. Hey, thanks. See? But that's it. We just keep feeding off of each other's creativity, and I love it. Jackie says, when I do projects like this, I make a scoring template and keep it with my project sheet, then I never have to make the marks again. Oh, that's a good idea. Like if you made the marks on this one, oh, this is interesting, and then punch the holes, then you could probably just line that one up and you wouldn't ever have to measure again. You could just punch, like if this was my template and this was my project, I could probably just line that up and then I would never have to measure it the second time. Is this what you do, Jackie? See, this is our community at work right here. And then you can just punch right inside those holes that you already marked. <gasps> oh my goodness, I am so gonna do that with my template when I'm done, because then I can just lay this one over all the future ones and punch the holes. Jackie, sometimes you come up with the most brilliant stuff. Sometimes you come up with the most brilliant stuff. Thanks for sharing that. That was really awesome. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put some designer series paper on this um, tree box on the front side. I'm only doing the front side. You could do both if you wanted to. It would definitely look finished if you're doing a lot, a lot of these. That's a lot of products because I think this is two and seven eighths by two and three quarters, but check the project sheet to be sure. I didn't leave myself a note. And, um, so I just did the front. This is the Joy of Christmas Designer Series paper and it is sold out. Does anybody else feel like this year, the or this catalog even in particular, Last Chance List, does anybody feel like it's everything's selling out pretty quickly? It's only December 8th and like tons of the embellishments, like almost everything. And a bunch that I didn't even use because I didn't use them because you guys couldn't order them like the ones with the speckled ones with the fall stuff I just feel like everything's going so quickly this time so if you've got your eyes on stuff on the last chance list um, put together your starter kit soon or put together your order soon for best selection I just feel like everything's moving so quickly and this paper is so gorgeous but pick whatever you've got that's festive and um, use it up use it up and make awesome treats spread some cheer. All right, now we're gonna work on our pocket. This is one and a half by three, and we're just gonna use a one inch circle punch to make a little pocket, but you guys know. <laughs> Let me clear this away so I can get my um, Simply Score tool in here so I can mark center. All right, let's see here. Hey, Tina, happy Friday to you too. Hey, Ramona, <laughs> just popped out of bed. Not such a good night, but feeling fine now. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling fine now. Ugh. I hate sleepless, uncomfortable nights. I'm sorry, my friend. All right, let's line this up on one and a half each side. 
we're going to mark the zero and just press a little, um, like a, make a little dent. That helps me make sure that it gets somewhere near center. Deborah says, hello, Marissa. Yay, catching you on YouTube, which works for me. Isn't it cool? You guys don't know behind the scenes how long we've tried and struggled and tried and struggled. I don't know what the difference we made this time, but we were getting such ugly pixelated videos on YouTube. And now all of a sudden, YouTube wants to play. There, I'm all right with that. Okay, so here's our template. Here's what we're making, just in case you're joining. Thank you to everybody who is interacting and making comments and talking with me. This is the best part. I mean, I like to do the videos too. Um, and I like to, anytime I get to stamp is a good time, but I really love that we can interact and I can talk with you. This is my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite jobs in the office. You know, There's things that I don't like to do, like the newsletter. That's a hard one for me. No big deal, but it's just a hard one. This is like my favorite jobs and that you guys spend time with me and interact with me makes it even more fun. It also teaches Facebook and YouTube that we have content that's engaging. So thank you. All right, so we're gonna go to the inside of our treat. And now here's the thing you gotta just be careful for a minute because the uh, pocket goes on the back side. So the side that has no designer series paper. All right, so there's our pocket side. I did a very thin bead of liquid glue and you're just gonna put it on there just, just the tiniest bit above the score line. See, here's our second center score line. There's two, you're gonna put it right above there and then just seal down that little bead of glue. Make sure it's a skinny little bead of glue though so that your tea bag will fit in there. And I did find that there were a couple that fit better than others. So just keep that in mind too. The skinnier this little uh, bead of glue is, the better. Now we wanna leave it and let it dry before we try to jam a tea bag into that pocket. All right, so let's set that aside. We'll do some stamping. Oh dear, I'm a little crooked. I don't know why. Hang on, I'm gonna take everybody for a small little ride. No, I don't know what's making me crooked. Oh, well, I'll figure it out for next time. Sorry, my lines are crooked and it's bothering me. Isn't that funny? <laughs> um, uh, Deborah says, LOL, pixely, not piddling. <laughs> Deborah says, I'm getting piddling on Facebook, but not on YouTube. Not sure why, though. I don't know. The broadcast quality has been kind of... Um, sketchy on Facebook and like green screen we had green flashing and um, rolling and things like that a little bit of pixeling <laughs> I can't get over it Deborah you make me smile <laughs> all right let's go ahead and get these ink pads I want to tell you what I've got here shaded spruce early espresso uh, cherry cobbler old olive and oh it looks like I forgot real red Hanty Mary, do you have real red behind you? I might have put it away or after we did that scarf. And let's get a stamp and pierce mat. Good thing, otherwise I'd be running to go look. And I need some very vanilla cardstock. I did a little bit. I have a little bit of stuff here by the magic of television because it is a bit of fussy cutting, but that's okay because that's when I get to hang out and chat with you guys, but let's see here. Did I leave it laying around? Ha <laughs> ha, that's what I figured, thank you. I knew it had to do with that card. All right, and finally, real red. All right, that's us. Um, let's see here, how is the broadcast on Facebook, speaking of? Is it looking pretty good? I keep toggling back and forth so looks okay for me um, let me see so I've got my modern garden and it's got two of this kind of pointy petal flowers I did the big one in real red and now we're gonna do the small one in real red and I'm just going to get as good a solid coverage as I can get sometimes it's nice to kind of prime the stamp so let's see oh no that's beautiful 
So real red. Then we're going to take the little flower centers. This is also from Modern Garden. And I think this just makes the most beautiful poinsettia. It really does. That's cherry cobbler on top of real red. And we'll set those aside for just a second. I've got some um, shaded spruce here. And I've got these leaves. They go curved to the left and they curved to the right. So there's two different leaves. And then the nice part is, is because you get one of each kind of curved direction, you can layer them and get this kind of a, a look. I love that. So we're gonna do one of each in shaded spruce. And I'm stamping on shaded spruce cardstock. So let's go ahead and Jackie says exactly. That's exactly it with the template. I, that's just brilliant. I don't know why I didn't even think about that before. All right, then we're going to do on a little bit of old olive cardstock. We've got a bow, and this is the smaller one from the Precious Pine Cones. And we're going to do two of those on old olive with old olive. And by the magic of television, I got another one of those. And set these aside for just a second because we've got a little bit more stamping here. Got some pecan pie and the smaller of the two pine cones and the precious pine cones. And we're going to do on pecan pie with early espresso. Let's let that have a second to transfer. I see lots of like hearts and reactions, but not a lot of comments on Facebook. Are you guys really quiet or am I missing it? How's my, is it my device or are you guys just real quiet over there on Facebook today? <laughs> Tina says, awesome tips, crafty gals. Yep, it's the truth. Our community is just really um, awesome. Lots of great tips. All right, I have another piece of pe uh, pecan pie here because I didn't like the way that stamped. I want a good, solid image. All right. <laughs> Nancy says, greetings to all from the House of Shrimple, having lunch with friends from our local deli. Hey, is Jan with you? Hi, Jan. All right, let's go. Uh, I, think my, I think my early espresso might need some ink. Sorry. I was getting really good images yesterday when I did this video. Let's try one more time. It's only paper, right? It's only paper. All right, let's do that. And I'll just... Do the best looking one. Oh, that one's pretty good. All right, let's take these away, except for early espresso. I've got a deckled circle here. <laughs> I trip over that every single time because at around the office we call them dircles and we call the deckled rectangles ductangles. And every time I take it out, I have to struggle to just call it the right name. This is the deckled circle, and it's about two and a half inches. It's fifth from the smallest one. And sometimes that helps more than what size is it, right? So it's the fifth one from the smallest. And we're gonna just put a little bit of spatter on there. This spatter is from Quiet Meadow. Of course, you can grab whatever you've got, but a little bit of um, interest in the background is what we're looking for. From the bottom left to the upper right, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit wider on that upper right. There we go. Now we can get rid of this ink pad and do a little fussy cutting and chatting. Let's see here. Going to share when done watching, I'm sure going to make this, I love it. Oh, I'm so glad that you love it. This one just, I don't know, it was, I was messing around with some um, early espresso scraps. I had a, a bunch of long skinnies left from another project and I had just gone to the um, Caputo's which is our Italian store and I had come home with these little cherry crostinis little cherry tarts and couldn't um, I couldn't resist buying them I might try to do one more box featuring them but the cherry stamp set and the builder punch because I just love that and it does not get enough attention. So my question for you while I cut these out is what stamp set did you buy because you love 
or what bundle did you buy because you love it but it doesn't have enough ink it hasn't gotten enough love mine is definitely that that cherry i love strawberries first because you know kitchen table stamper um logos and and theme is the the cherries or the strawberries but i love all things fruit you guys i ordered first from my pre-order the blueberry stamp set I just do, I love all things fruit, but the cherry and the builder punch just has not gotten enough love. So what do you um, have that you've purchased because you love it, but it needs some more, it needs to see ink or needs to see more ink. I think we all have some of those, right? It's part of being crafty. All right, so we've got our pine cone and then one of each of the leaves that aside I'm just going to trim these out and see what you guys have to say about that <laughs> Ramona says wow just got a commercial yeah you guys I am so sorry everybody on YouTube um, it is the new thing the live stream gets um, ads please go ahead and skip them it's um, it's no big deal but the problem is is if you don't allow YouTube to place its ads then YouTube doesn't make money from its advertisers. So then YouTube doesn't like to share my content in people's feeds because I'm not playing nicely with them and generating ad revenues for them. So it is just a fact of life and I can say I'm sorry for it, but um, from the uh, business of stamping and from the perspective of my channel, I do feel like I need to say that they just kind of have to be there because otherwise, I will never grow my audience because YouTube won't show my stuff to anybody because YouTube won't make ad revenues off of me. So that's the way it is. Sorry for the ads. Um, yep, you can definitely skip them or pay for premium. That's for sure. Then, you know, somehow or another, YouTube needs to get its pound of flesh. Otherwise, there's no reason for YouTube to suggest my content to my target market and demographic. And really the reason why I do YouTube is to find new um, crafters that enjoy my content and want to support my business. So um, I need YouTube to show my content. So I, that's it. Um, I'm sorry that it is that way, but it's kind of kind of the way that it goes. Um, Mimi says the pop set, same with the fruit, then add pop, but it's just sat there, no ideas. I sink, I stink at ideas. Oh, I love hearing that. Keep telling me which which bundles, which stamp sets, because I've got that one too, and I'm thinking about a stamp a stack card class and some treats with that one. So uh, it's, it'll help me. It's like it's like research. What can I what can I help you get more ink? I did buy that bundle too, and it's sitting here brand new, waiting for me to get some ink on it. All right, what stamp set? What bundle? What product did you buy? Because you had to have it, um, and you haven't gotten enough use out of it yet. Mine is definitely those cherries. It's so cute. Um, it's okay, it was quick. Good, and I know that they're skippable. I always do um, skippable ads and I always do, they ask you if you want to be conservative, regular, or aggressive. And I always pick skippable conservative so that we don't get too many interruptions. But let's see here. <laughs> Tina says all of my bundles oh you need you need to get some more ink on everything huh that sounds good to me I was just telling my friend Katie then I need like a crafty retreat I need to get away for three days and do nothing but use all the stuff because I bought a lot from the pre-order you guys I really like the upcoming catalog if you um, haven't seen the there's tons of sneak peeks and stuff out there but um, there's there's really good stuff coming in this new catalog and I feel the same about that like all of my bundles need some love I buy and buy and buy especially this catalog it's a good one all right let's see here um, songbirds and sending smiles and uh, that was uh, backyard stamper that was Kathy Schmidt that's the ones that you you need to get some ink on huh Kathy oh goodness 
I like the cradle that's coming. Isn't it cute from Celebration? Yep, it's a cutie. Um, yeah, you guys are very quiet today. Nobody's got any other bundles or stamp sets that they feel like need some love. Um, you know which other one I got to pull out, you guys? I bought the Zany Zoo out of the annual catalog and tons of ideas with that. thought it was so cute and I need to pull that one out again and make some things. So those are my, my two right now that I'm like, oh, gotta. So I bought a couple of little treats that I thought fit the theme for my cherries, for my, for my zoo, a Zany Zoo which is the paper zany zoo and zoo crew and i know one's the bundle and one's the paper i think well i don't know i don't have the kind of memory i used to have all right so we've got our little botanical guys here we're going to set these aside and i'm going to show you see this fun little um, metallic branch i love how this just kind of finishes it off it's like those um, fl floral arrangements that you get from the florist or that you can find like in the floral department right now. They've got fun little like bare branches. So what I'm going to do is use this. It's one of the veins from my autumn leaf bundle. Let's see. This is autumn leaf dyes. And let me show you which ones it is and which ones it's not because Jackie and I were writing the project sheet for this and we're like, how do we describe which one it is so that they're not like, oh, which one? It's not like this big maple leaf or this one that goes for the two small leaves. It's this kind of middle one. <laughs> so I figured it was worth showing in one of the videos because we were, we were like, use the veins, the vein details from autumn leaves to make your, your sticks. <laughs> and then which one? That we could sort out on the video, right? I've got some gold foil cardstock here. And we're gonna run that with our Stampin' Cotton Emboss Machine. Let me grab it. Let's see. Zany Zoo is waiting for you. I love your designs. Oh, thank you. I've done a couple of little things with it um, for newsletter and for the blog, but not nearly enough. It's such a cute, it's a cute bundle. And there are so many things that would lend itself well to it too, so. I got a few um, treats in mind. I just need a few more hours in the day. That's all. All right, we're gonna just give this a little crank. Don't mind my arm completely over the thing. Sorry, uh, that was awkward cranking there. Uh, Jackie says I have more to do with the polar bear. I'm setting up to do your class kit for that, but I want to do even more with it, right? And I love that it's a punch. Oh my goodness, I just um, did some some cards to finish up my Christmas cards with it. Love, love that bundle. Yep, get inky. Uh, Deepa says, I have Zany Zoo bundle too. I need ideas, Marissa. All right, good, I've got, a, I've got a few in my head. Let's see if we can get them out. All right, so here's our sample. Here's our pocket, all nice and dry now, so we can add our treats. Um, let's see here, what else, what else do you guys? I'm being honest, every stamp set and bundle that I have bought over the past 15 years. <laughs> Deepa, I think that your sentiments probably resonate with this crowd. Sometimes it happens. Uh, Lisa says, I'm on Facebook. Are you on YouTube also? I am. I have had so much trouble with, um, with, face with getting live on YouTube, but we finally figured it out. I think I've done four lives now. Yep, I'm on both at the same time. Kathy says, hello again, my friend. It's nice to stream with you. Aw, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pop the little tea bag in the pocket. And we're going to get a couple of glue dots for the tart. All of you locals, um, the little tarts came from Caputo's. And you can probably find them in your European markets. Somebody had suggested World Market. Who wasn't that just suggested that? Mimi, I think that was you. Um, so good suggestions. And this is what those look like if you're just joining us. We're going to pop that right on with a couple of glue dots. Two holds it just nice. Oh, well, just make a nice presentation. You just open it up and there's your there's your tea and your tart. This one is This one is inspired by Rhonda. Rhonda likes to do gifts for her. Um, 
for her young adults, she's, you know, has, um, had been very involved with like youth group and her kids friends and they've grown up now they're young adults they're not kids anymore but she likes to do um, treats that are like a snack break and so this is kind of inspired by Rhonda too Rhonda you rock all right so we're going to take the ribbon and we're going to start from the front on the right we're going to go through both holes front to back here's where you need those little flossers that I can't find anywhere I don't know sometimes I'm starting to believe that it might just be me because lots of people are like, oh yeah, I got the flosser. That's how I do that. Um, if you don't know the little dental flossers that are like a loop and um, kind of a rigid little, I don't know how to explain it, but they're for flossing around braces or appliances or um, de you know, uh, dentures or things. So you loop the floss and then you can pull it through. And I can't find them anywhere. But if you put your ribbon through the loop on the end of the flosser and then slide it through it's like butter I used to have some I've, I've run out and can't find replacements all right so it's front to back back to front pull it together with a bow we're going to tie a big loopy bow here and a secure <laughs> Kathy says love this project I'm so glad I really think that um this one was yeah when I when I did this one I was like oh can't wait to share it. I think everybody's going to really love this idea. But I was a little bit hesitant because I know that in different areas of the country, you don't have quite as much access to imported foods. You know, like um, I have very good Asian markets and European markets and all kinds of stuff all around me. So I did hesitate a little bit, but you can get them on, on Amazon if you um, don't have access to the imported foods all right so there's our little pocket it's all closed up filled with treats and now we're just going to add our things i can't believe how fast it's going we're almost done i feel like uh we just got started let me see and um carol says i can't find the flosses either that's actually kind of reassuring to me because I was starting to think that it was a me problem. Anybody else look for them and can't find them? I really was starting to think that it was a me problem because people say, use that. And I say, I'd like to. I just can't find any more. I need to get layering leaves and punch bow. Every time I order it, it's unavailable. Yeah, I'm telling you, um, we've had... We've had some issues with that, and I don't, I don't know that they're going to ease up yet. So, just keep, keep an eye, keep looking for the things, keep stalking the things that you want. All right, let me go ahead and adhere this guy right in the center. I did with dimensionals. Now we're gonna do this guy and this guy with liquid glue, and I'm gonna cut the long stem off of this so it doesn't hang off the end of my dirkel. Let's see here. It says, I was over on Facebook commenting. I keep toggling back and forth to the two. Yumi says, I saw, I've not tried yet. Someone used the cherry punch, then citrus set in green to make cherry limeade. Super cute. Oh my goodness, that sounds so cute. All right, let's go ahead and add a little bit of liquid glue down the center of this. Not quite to the end. I kind of went to the end, which means mine's going to be a little sticky, but it's going to hang off the edge a little bit. So take it easy on the glue toward the edge, the, or the very top of this branch here. A little bit of liquid glue on our pine cone. Get that guy. It's kind of our backdrop. And then we're going to assemble our flower next so that we can... Um, put the leaves in around the flower and kind of frame it. So I'm gonna go a half a dimensional and then maybe a couple more halves here to finish this project up. And we're gonna do like this. So you're gonna take your little layer for your poinsettia, put it on a half a dimensional. Then we're gonna take that and layer it so that the points alternate to make your poinsettia. And maybe I'll rotate that a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Looks good. Then we'll do right in the center a half of dimensional. And that's kind of for a reason here because we're going to add our poinsettia. 
but then because that dimensional is way in the center, we can start adding our leaves and tuck them in and around the poinsettia. So a little bit of glue, and then we'll slide that one under, and then hold it and let it grab, and then we'll get another guy put that out the other side and I'm just kind of using the um, glue at the base so that they lift a little bit at the ends I like the dimension that that gives I want it to be secure though so I'm gonna kind of burnish it down but I like the lift that it gives if you don't glue it down hard and then the leaf that swoops to the right that one gets liquid glue but we're gonna add a bit of dimensional adhesive uh oh, I'm lifting my poinsettia a little bit on um, the one that swoops left so we can get a little, a little lift. It just adds something to have those layers that are kind of up and down and makes it look more real. There it is. Isn't that cute? I'm going to put a little bit of bling on there. I've got the pastel. Um, adhesive back sequins. Remember, Jackie, when you were like, is this the natural adhesive back sequins? I was like, yeah, you might as well because I can't find my other ones. <laughs> Here they are. They were in the bucket <laughs> and they've been there since I designed this project. Who knows how long ago? So I did find my pastel adhesive back sequins. <laughs> <laughs> and here they are. So you can use the, the um, natural or neutral adhesive back sequins with this too. That's got a nice gold um, self-adhesive sequin too. <laughs> there they are. Did, you, did I say it or did you recognize first? <laughs> Nancy says, I've only started loving stamp sets after Marissa makes something cute with it. I love that I can help you see the things that I love through my eyes. All right, I'm going to add a little... Um, uh, sequin actually a big one and a little one and just a little more gold sparkle there between the ribbon and the branch those little gold sparkles kind of finish it off you get your get your triangle of gold going on all right you guys so if you are loving this project it really is pretty easy I would highly suggest picking up the pretty or the precious pine cones 60 percent off i think it's eight dollars and eighty cents and then the um modern garden is the perfect combination with that and that one is um retiring you can pick those things up in a starter kit if you want hang on i'm gonna grab my power here i need some power you guys are gonna probably see my cord let's see i'm almost out of power come here Please hold. There we go. We got some power again. Too many devices to keep powered. Hold on. I'm away from my microphone a little bit too. All right. Thank you. Please interrupt. Please excuse the interruption. <laughs> I need I need more batteries. I need more outlets. I mean, to keep all these batteries running. All right. So if you've got um, a couple of things that you got your eye on from the last chance list, place your order sooner than later for best selection. Modern Garden and the Modern Oval Punch can be bundled to save 10%. And when you um, earn the watermelon set during celebration, you'll be glad that you got the uh, Modern Oval Punch. If you wanna add these things to a starter kit, I had put in a starter kit, the Modern Garden Bundle, the Precious Pine Cones, the warmest heart bundle the sending cheer bundle the year to celebrate bundle and it came up to like 185 dollars catalog price and the starter kit is 99 dollars. so for th this stack you would pay 99 dollars plus tax it's 185 dollars worth of product so depending on what things that you have your eye on check out the clearance rack and stuff um, get yourself a starter kit and like double up the sales right now. And then once you um, order your starter kit, you can use the starter kit to purchase things from the mini catalog. So upon order of the starter kit, this catalog opens up to you. 
after you order your starter kit, celebration starts for you. So it's really a great time to get started. Um, just take a look at the values that are in there, the things that you still have your eye on that are on sale, and stack it up, double the sale using the starter kit. If you've got any questions about the, that offer, reach out. I'd love to talk to you. Or if you've thought about coming back to Stampin' Up, maybe you were a demonstrator and you're thinking about joining up again, it's a great time to get a whole lot of products for your money, and we would love to have you. The join promotion in January, the celebration join promotion is an extra $35. So stacking the sale prices with the $99 starter kit offer is potentially a much better deal on product than the extra $35. So if you're thinking about waiting, um, just don't wait without taking a look at what you can do right now with the starter kit. And um, if you want the glass mat, the studio, the glass mat studio, the Stampin' Studio, then you'll wait until January to join, okay? All right, you guys, I am, I had to fix my background. I am done with this project. I hope that you liked it. Please check out kitchentablestamper.com. We have a beautiful box for you from yesterday. This little treat box holds two Ghirardelli squares and features the um, Sending Cheer bundle. And there's a project sheet and video holds two Ghirardelli squares. This is also our Let's Craft Live challenge. So if you make this and you share with us in the craft social between now and Tuesday, you've got till Tuesday at midnight to share, you can be um, in consideration for prize patrol. So don't miss this box tutorial, the challenge, and there are prizes for our challenges. This um, project sheets and blog posts will be up in just a little while. We're actually almost done with it. We have been working on it this morning, so this will be quickly this afternoon. And yeah, that's it. Jan says, love this treat box. Your templates are amazing. It's such a simple one. It really is. I had strips of paper, um, this three by nine and a quarter, and it was actually just, I got a ton of these strips just sitting here. What can I do? And then I bought the cherry tarts to do with the cherry set and I hope I'll get to that one pretty soon but it just came together I'm glad you like it I can't wait to see what you guys do with this idea or this template whether you use the template exactly the measurements it is and you find other things that fit you do it exactly how it is with the tree or uh, the tart and you decorate it different or you switch up the measurements a little bit to accommodate other treats share with us we want to see what you're doing with the ideas and with your Stampin' Up! supplies and the craft social Jessica says, as always, a great box. I'm glad you like it. Uh, let's see here. Kathy says, thank you, Marissa. My pleasure. Enjoy your lunch, ladies. Nancy says, thank you uh, for another inspiration stream. Looking forward to your clean video to follow along with. It'll be posted in just a little bit. It's already uploaded. We just haven't published it yet. All right, you guys, let's see how YouTube is doing. I'll catch some comments there. <laughs> Tina says, so adorbs. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love the Santa and present box. I'm glad you like that one. You can find that one on kitchentablestamper.com. Hey, you know what? Let's play with my new toys for just a minute because I have a, oh my gosh, you guys are going to see the top of my head. Uh, let's see. Look at, there it is. Check out kitchentablestamper.com for project sheets for both of these projects. You'll have your weekend crafting cut out for you, right? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Thumbs up and shared. Thank you, Bonnie. Honey, I love it. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel or if you're not following us, our Facebook page, please hit those subscribe and um, follow our channels. It really does help. It doesn't cost you guys anything. It's completely free and it really helps our channel. Uh, let's see. Chian says, super cute. Thank you. MJ says, so very beautiful. Well, hey there. Art and MJ, thank you. All right, let's see here. We're gonna pop over to Facebook and then say our goodbyes. You guys, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate your time. It really means the world to me and I love hanging out with you guys. I hope you have a really awesome weekend. I will see you, I think we don't have, because we're coming up on the holidays here. Things are gonna be a little light. I think we're live on Friday at noon and then um, the week after that, we'll have Let's Craft Live on Thursday the 21st and 
that'll be our schedule up until Christmas. I think we've got two more lives between now and now and Christmas. So um, I'll see you guys next Friday. Um, Kitchenettes, don't forget our team meeting is Monday. I'll see you guys for our meeting. Kitchenettes are very awesome. We have a monthly meeting um, in, and we do on Zoom. So anywhere in the country, we'd love to, we'd love to have you join us. So Kitchenettes, don't forget the Monday, Monday morning, Monday morning meeting. Jessica says, have a great weekend. You too. Brenda says, have a great weekend and happy birthday. Desi, I'll pass on the wishes. You guys have a great weekend and I will see you Monday if you're a Kitchenette, if you're one of my team members or Friday. Have a great weekend, everybody.